Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another technical analysis update for Bitcoin. This is going to be a short-term price prediction and I'm going to basically outline to you guys why I think we're about to see Bitcoin break out of this time-tested regression trend channel and run up to the key price target of $70,000. I think there's a good chance we might even see this move in October before the US election. Now, I'm not talking about a new all-time high price. I'm just talking about the price target of $70,000. So that would be a move up of around 9% without any leverage. Now, I know I'm not the only one who thinks the price of Bitcoin is going to go higher because when we look at this liquidation map here, we can see the market is aggressively long. And if there was to be a short-term pullback, there would be a lot of long liquidations all the way down to around $60,000 again. So is now the time to go long? Well, if we look at the bull market support band, which is on the weekly time frame, these two EMA ribbons right here, we can see these EMA ribbons are still in the white. So despite price actually chopping below this bull market support band, these EMA ribbons are still white. When we see these EMA ribbons pinch together, point down, change color, that's usually when momentum is going to the downside. Therefore, we can expect the bear market. Whereas what we can see right now is these EMA ribbons, they're actually still pointing upwards. So the bull market is still intact despite this choppy market right here. This was nothing. And if you capitulated on Bitcoin during all of these wicks here and you lost conviction in Bitcoin, then my guy, you might want to just go away and read the book, The Bitcoin Standard, so you actually know what you're investing into in the first place. And I can imagine all the people who capitulated on Bitcoin here, they're probably FOMOing into Bitcoin at this higher price now because they're trying to be like breakout traders. And I've said this in the past, I don't trade that way. I think that system of trading is bullshit but let's just say hypothetically you thought this was like some sort of bull flag or bear flag or nutsack or whatever you call it and let's say you measured this neckline here or whatever that is like the, the shaft line pull that up and then it goes up to the price target of nearly a hundred thousand dollars you can see why some people may want to break out trade here because their risk to award ratio would look a little something like this maybe their stop loss is below the bottom of this this like downwards flag or whatever and then their price target is a hundred thousand dollars so you can actually see that trade set up there still has a risk to reward ratio of 5.6 r so it's still a fair trade setup to take you'll be risking around 19 percent to potentially make close to 50 percent upside now is this worth it in my opinion no i don't think it's worth it i don't think it's worth taking on that kind of risk just to make 50 percent there are far better opportunities in the market right now you could probably make more money just trading coinbase stock on the nasdaq instead of trading bitcoin directly if you're only looking for a 50 percent upside that being said once bitcoin eventually breaks out of this flag this is when we're going to see the rest of the crypto market going banana zone this is when the altcoin market goes crazy and this is when assets that trade at a beta to bitcoin really start to break out so hopefully by this point in the cycle you've bought your altcoin positions you're content with what you have you may be focusing on low time frame trading as well, but you're mainly just sitting back, letting your altcoin positions do their thing. And then as Bitcoin goes up, as total three goes up, you're just systematically cashing out profits from your position. So if we do see Bitcoin break out here, then the game plan is actually quite simple. All you have to do is focus on low time frame trading because as Bitcoin is breaking off the new all time high price, is that really where you want to build your new swing long position? Personally, I wouldn't, especially at this point in the cycle, there might only be like six months left in the cycle. So personally, I wouldn't want to build up like a massive, massive Bitcoin swing long position here. But instead of passively swing trading Bitcoin, I'll be actively swing trading Bitcoin because as price breaks off to a new all time high price, there's more uncertainty, right? We don't know when price is going to top out. Price might top out here. Price might top out here. Price might top out here price might even go higher. You don't know where it's going to top out. And that's why if you're just blindly buying at any position up here, you don't know where it's going to top out. But if you're just actively trading and you're looking for all of these little small risk to reward ratio setups, so maybe you're risking like 3% uh, there with the upside potential being around 10%, you're know, taking lots of little trade setups that look like this. So maybe one there, maybe one there, maybe a little another one up here, then that's fine. Whereas if you're just blindly buying here and hoping that price goes up to here, but then you see your trade go like this, it goes up, you never took profits because you, you've got your eyes set on $100,000 and then price comes back down, you're still not taking profits, you're still not taking profits, oh shit, did you stop at break even? Probably not because you're trading psychology shit. Oh no my guy, oh no my guy, oh no my, oh you're in drawdown, get out of the trade, get out of the trade. Nah, it's coming back up G, it's, it's gonna hit $100,000 I swear. Whoa, whoa, what's going on G, what's going on? Oh, it's capitulated. Meanwhile, Trading Drip dropped a new video. I'm long Bitcoin. Oh shit. Hate this Trading Drip. Fuck this fuck. Trading's a scam. No one can trade. No one can time the market. Yeah, some of the biggest hedge funds in the world are traders.
If we look at the three day time frame, money flow has now crossed into the green as we outlined in yesterday's video. We've got that bear trap scenario confirmed now with that green dot, which I prepared you guys for for weeks on the Trading Drip channel. All the receipts are here on the channel. Just go back, check the previous videos. We've been talking about that scenario for a long period of time. And we had an early indication that we may see this bear trap scenario playing out because on the two week time frame, we had this green dot confirmed. And I told you guys in real time when we got that, I even told you guys just before we got the green dot that we were expecting the green dot to come soon. And as we can see on the two week time frame, money flow is looking super strong, man. If you're new here, money flow on this indicator is that inner green wave. This is like a visual representation of attention. By the way, this indicator isn't like a, a free regular regular indicator that you get in TradingView. It's an expensive paid indicator and a lot of professional traders use this. And when you see money flow coming in like that, it's a leading indication that you can expect attention to come into this asset. And this is when you might expect price to break off to a new all-time high price. And the RSI bands have flipped back into the green, which is bullish. So I think now is the time we'll see price break out of this channel, maybe retest it one more time and then go even higher. And we know this month, the average return in October is 21%. That's average and medium returns. And right now, October is only up 3.68%. So we could easily have a move up to $70,000, which we outlined at the start of this video. That's only a move up of 9%. If we could see a move up in October of 20%, then that's allowing the price of Bitcoin to break off to a new all-time high price. You know, it's not unrealistic to say that Bitcoin could break off to a new all-time high price this month because MicroStrategy stock, which is a publicly traded stock on the NASDAQ, which trades at a two to three X beta to Bitcoin. This stock has already broken off to a new all-time high price last week. So we could see the exact same thing happen to Bitcoin. If we end this video by looking at the order flow for Bitcoin, this is how we see X-ray vision into the buy and sell orders for Bitcoin. And we can look at this data over time. If you remember in yesterday's video, I was calling for a big ass short squeeze to start playing out for Bitcoin because since the end of September, we had all of these short positions opening up and it's only recently the direction of cumulative volume delta has started to curve up, meaning aggressive buyers are coming back into the market, which is literally what we can see right here on the seven day liquidation map. And now look what's happening, my guy. Literally what I prepared you for yesterday in advance in yesterday's video, short squeeze. Look at all those red liquidations right there. Look at that big ass boner candle. We're gonna see more of these, my friend because all of these shorts here still have to cover out. As we see more longs stepping into the market, more shorts will have to start covering out. We can see this in the liquidation heat map. There is still a bunch of liquidity above us that should take price easily up to $70,000. If not, we might even push through all of this liquidity here, taking price up to around $80,000, which will then take this October in line with the average returns that we see in October. So to summarize the video, this here is my short-term price prediction for Bitcoin. Momentum's coming in, money flow's coming in. We're seeing brand new long positions are opening up over the last seven days, which is fueling a short squeeze. And we can see in the liquidation heat map that the short squeeze will likely continue up to around $70,000. In yesterday's video, I outlined why this green line here may be a major resistance level as there is unfinished business in the market at that price point there. So we may see a little retracement as price hits $70,000. So as a next step, my friend, go check out yesterday's video, which I'm going to link on the end screen of this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the Trading Drip YouTube channel whilst we're still under 10,000 subscribers.